Hello and welcome back to Trade Talks. I'm Leon Alfaro, producer and host here at NASDAQ. Today we're talking a little bit about crypto and blockchain, which still has several hurdles to clear as companies seek more wide-scale adoption. So here to tell us a little bit more about it is Perry Ann Boring, who is president and founder of the Chamber of Digital Commerce. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Leanne. Thanks for having me. Now, tell us, what is the environment we're looking at right now, the regulatory environment, and what are people talking about in D.C.? Um, so in Washington, D.C., from a federal perspective, we continue to have a very fragmented approach to financial services regulation in general, and that's absolutely impacting the blockchain in the cryptocurrency space. So at the SEC, um, they're looking to apply uh, securities laws um, to digital assets and digital tokens and really wanting to call um, these um, cryptocurrencies or crypto assets securities, subjecting them to securities regulations. Um, we then have the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, um, who's looking at this from a commodities perspective. You have FinCEN, who's regulating the same um, crypto asset as a currency with the anti-money laundering um, uh, uh, related regulations. And then you have IRS, who um, taxes it as property. Um, so there's a lot of um, confusion. There's many different stakeholders. There's many different regulators sometimes they're clamoring at each other for a jurisdiction. It's not very well coordinated. There's a high degree of regulatory uncertainty for companies that want to use this technology. Um, and overall, there's just no plan. There's no, there's no overall strategy. So it's really um, tripping up companies. It costs companies um, a, a lot of legal fees. Uh, the law firms are having to read between the tea leaves of enforcement actions to figure out how to operate in this space in a compliant way. And so now you have all these entities on different pages. How do we address this issue? So what we've proposed is, well, we believe first and foremost that blockchain should be a national priority. We think this technology it is as important, if not more, than the internet. And we need a plan on how we're going to foster its development and its innovation in these borders. Right now we're seeing a lot of companies that don't have the regulatory certainty they need to operate in the U.S. So they're going overseas and overseas companies are blocking out U.S. persons and investors from participating in their projects, which is just sad and really there's no excuse for it. Um, so what we would like to see is um, this government, the U.S. government, issue a national action plan um, for blockchain. Bring the regulators together, have them coordinate, and put together a strategy on how to foster blockchain's innovation and development in the United States. We believe it's important. We need that type of leadership at the highest levels, um, and we, de we deserve it. It's important for the future of the U.S. economy, and it's going to be important for us to preserve um, our place on, on the global stage, um, and blockchain is going to play a key role in that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your insight, Perry Ann. We look forward to having you back on Trade Talks. Thanks so much. NASDAQ followers, please stay tuned for more coverage right here from the Trade Talks channel. See you then.